to take over the evening and any questions feel free at the end to ask them. Enjoy this evening folks, enjoy this evening. Okay. You know what, um, when Gary said it's the first one, it just hit me. This is the first event that we're doing since lockdown, very okay. first. Wow. So um, it's exciting to be back out on the road. I only, when did I announce it? Was it like a week and a half? Yeah. Just about a week ago. About a week ago, I was like, we're getting back out on the road. We're not letting Boris hold us back no more. We're getting back out on the road. So um, Gary and Dan were the first ones. They were like, no, we want you on the first day. So this is the first day that we're back out on the road since a year and a half ago. Um, so I'm excited about that. So we're going to have some fun as well. Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me down there as well? Yeah, I'm not the quietest one, um, they told me. <laughs> Um, and, and for so many reasons, I never used to fit in because I always felt a bit different. I didn't wear makeup like some of the girls. I didn't dress like some of them. I always felt different. But do you know one of the things that I love about what we do is that you can be you. And each and every person that's connected to the academy, to our community, they're all themselves. It's not you have to be like somebody else. So I don't know if anybody works a job here. Anyone, an employee? Anyone work a job? Yeah? You know that there's restrictions in certain things that you can say, you can't say. I don't know if any of you are, um, you know, believe in God or you have faith. Those things you're not allowed to say really when you're in the workplace. Like you could never dare say, like I was uh, in the HR in the bank and I was a teacher, so I used to train the CEOs and the directors and stuff, but I could never say amen, that was not allowed. If you ever said that, you'd be brought in a disciplinary, you'd be trying to inflict your faith on other people. There's just so many red tape when you, when you like, it's crazy because some of the things I take for granted now, I forget, you know sometimes you come out of that industry, you come out of the world, you forget what it's like. Um, and even my son the other day, he said to one of my friends, you know, can you, your mum and dad come and have lunch with my mum and dad? And she was like, no, we have to work. And it was, my son doesn't think people have to work. I'm like, no son, people have to work for money. That's how, you know, that's how people live. But where, when you're out of it for a while, you forget and you can kind of be desensitized to what's going on in the world, that people actually work jobs hard. A lot of people work very hard. A lot of people work hours you know, working a job, maybe it's 30 hours, 60 hours, sometimes more. Um, and when I was in the bank, I used to work, I used to work, I enjoyed my job, I didn't hate my job, but I used to work a lot of hours. I don't know, anybody here work a lot of hours? Uh, when I had children, I used to, yeah, when I had children, I had to make that decision, do I go part-time? Do I stay full time but then pay all the money to the, the babysitter or the, the childcare? Do I go back to work? Do I jack it in all together? Um, my background's Jamaican and St. Lucian. Um, oh, okay. where, where are you guys St. Lucian. <laughs> in the house. Okay. Second one. Is Half St. Lucian as well. Okay, cool. Jamaica. Okay, so I've got the pizza of Lele. Yes, we've got the half Jamaican and half St. Lucian. So my dad's side is St. Lucian. My mum's side is Jamaican. Um, my mum and dad split up when um, I was very, very young. Um, and my mum was a single parent. And for her, all I've ever seen her do is be on benefits. And, you know, for me, I feel like the benefit system held her back because she's got a lot of skills and talents. But she was too scared to go out and do more hours or do a, like you know her career because of if she did housing benefit would get cut have you ever met people like that where the benefit yeah. system make you not want to get a job <laughs> because the minute you get a job they're going to pull it from that end and that's my mom's you know she now for most of my life i've not seen her work and she's got severe arthritis she also has now a couple of years ago diagnosed with tumors in her brain She's very young, she's only in her uh, late 50s. But, you know, because of the system, I believe that's what made her deteriorate because she wasn't really doing much, do you know what I mean? And over time, you know, she got stuck. So when I was making a lot of decisions in my life, it was about my mum. I don't know about you guys, you know, when you get older, it's either your parents or your children, or you may have a family member back home, but we all have that drive inside of us why we want to be successful. What is the, you know, the why, the deep why? 
And when you come into our community, the first thing we look at is what's your why, right? Why do you want to be successful? Why do you want to have more out of life? It's never just for yourself. And it sounds crazy because when I came in first, I was like, I want to make money. I want to clear my debt. I want to leave my job. I want to be able to live free. And my mentor at the time, um, you know, she's somebody that I absolutely love. I found her in Atlanta. Um, and she's basically taught me a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, and she kept saying to me, what's your why though? What do you, what, what's your big goal? And I was like, to quit my job. She's like, no, no, what's your big goal? And I kept saying that, you know, to clear my debt. She's like, no, but what's your big... And I couldn't understand what she was talking about. And the reason why is because a lot of us, what happens is, is we go to school, we go to college. If we're blessed enough, we'll go to uni. And then we get that job that they told us that we should get, right? And then what happens is we say, okay, this job, I'm not going to stay here forever. This is just like my job to warm up. And then you realize five years... How long, anyone, how long have you been in your job? 20 how long? 20. 20 years. How long have you been in your job? Uh, well, I'm retired now. You're retired. I'm how long retired. did you do? I did 15 years in the city. Oh, I did 15 years as well. I did 15 years. How long have you been? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half? I did 15 years, but I got me done. 15 it seems mm. to be the magic number at the yeah. moment. <laughs> Anyone beat 15? Yeah. Then about um, 20 plus. Jeez. There's a lady that I left in the bank 44 years. And I tell you this, right? When I spoke to her, she was like, I didn't intend to do 44 years. One year turned into five, five turned into 10, 10 turned into 20. And by the time she'd been, and bless her, she's got no children, not married, still lives with her mum. And now she's in her late 60s, and all she's ever done is that one job. And you know, I looked and I was like, that's how a lot of people live. They get stuck, you know, they get stuck because how many of us know when we first take that job, we don't think that's where we're gonna stay for the rest of our life, but we just end up just being there. And then maybe you might, they give you a little promotion, 20 pound extra a week or a month to try to sweet you up. You know the ones, right? And all of a sudden you've just got lost in the system. And then what happens is, is you go and get a car on finance or you go move out your mum's house and start renting or if you're like me you went and bought a house and when you go and take out credit guess what that means you now have a commitment to pay so now you're scared to leave the job that you said you wasn't going to stay at for long enough mm -hmm. and now you're stuck there for 44 years mm -hmm. and when i looked at that woman i think i i was like this ain't gonna be me <laughs> this is not my story and I started off as a cashier. I worked my way all the way up to head office. And I got to a place in my career where the only next position was CEO. And the CEO had to leave, die, or something like that for me. For me to even apply, do you know what I mean? The biggest bank in the country, Royal Bank of Scotland, um, and no woman had ever been a CEO in the bank. So I was like, well, am I going to accept this income because I was on the highest paid income? I think I was on about 4,000 a month, which on everyday people's terms, decent money, yeah? But if you've got big goals to retire your parents, to send your children private school, do you know private school, guys, is like 27 grand for my two children a year? Four grand a month could not send my children to private school, plus me living the house that I live in, plus you, you, you know what I'm talking about, yeah? yeah? So when you think about it, and I've been reading this book, I don't know if you guys are taking notes or have a little phone, but if you haven't got this book, write it down. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, oh, yeah. yeah? Now in that book, I want you guys to deep this. Inside that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it says 95% of people are on this side and 5% of people are on this side, right? What do the 95% do? They work jobs or they're self-employed. How much money is on this side? 5% of the world's wealth. So 5% of the world's wealth is being shared by 95% of the people. And then this side, hey, you have 5% of the people, but 95% of the world's wealth and they don't work jobs. They own businesses or they invest. So what we're getting to understand is that the people that work jobs, employees, 
or self-employed, they have no money or they have no time. So it's that no money, no time. Because a lot of people think that wealth means money. It doesn't. Wealth means that you have time to live your life and you're not worried about money. So money's coming in without you exchanging your time, right? So 95% of people, they have no time, they have no money, or worse, they have neither. And that's the worst position to be at. Every single one of us knows somebody who works all hours of the day, but when you speak to them, they're always broke. How? How is it that you're working 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 hours but you're still broke. That doesn't even make no sense, right? That doesn't make no sense. But here's the thing. They told us at school, school, college, uni, write a CV. Why do we write CVs? To apply for a job. The right-hand side of money. The left-hand side of money. So we're working, we've been taught our whole life to be broke, to be on the broke side. Because if wealthy people on the 5% don't work a job, why are they teaching us to be employees? Why are they not teaching us to run our own business? Why are they not teaching us to own our own business? Why are they not teaching us to invest? Because all the rich people are investing and owning business, but at school, we're being taught to have a job. No one is teaching us to be rich and wealthy. No one's teaching us how to come out of the system because it's going in the system that keeps the country running, right? That's the whole, that's the whole thing about it, is how to keep the country running. So the schooling system, is a way to drive the economy. When I read that book, I was like, this is actually deep. So you know when we watch The Matrix and all these kind of films and we think, oh, it's just over the top, it's not real. It's real. Like they brainwashed us our whole life. And you know, especially coming from a Caribbean background, how many of us have always been told, you know, you must be a doctor, liar, go to school, read your books, da 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 da. We've been brainwashed this from our parents, 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 there we go, that's the quadrant there, of the t different percentages of people yeah. that are, are working versus self-employed. Now here's the thing, a lot of people, they realize this about being employed, so what do they do? They then go, do you know what, I'm gonna set up my side business and become self-employed, because in their mind, self-employed is the answer away from that. But what happens with self-employed people? Less time. Less time, they have no time. So now, they don't have the HR to sort out the pay slips. They are the HR. Mm. You know, think of a self-employed, I don't know, plumber. If there's no customers coming in, there's no money coming in. No money. If they're sick, there's no money coming. At least with a job, you get a little sick pay, right? You know, you could call in sick, you get the sick pay, <laughs> maternity leave, you get all these benefits. I know one girl at work, she was just getting pregnant every time she came back, <laughs> just so she could get paid. Because you can work the system, as they put it, yeah? But when you're now self-employed, you ain't got no one to work. You're literally working yourself. You can't afford to employ no one just yet. So you're running around. God bless if you take a holiday, you know, for that one week, two weeks. Or if you're Caribbean and you go to Jamaica for six weeks like some of us, you know there's no money coming in whatsoever. So actually self-employed is even worse than being employed because you have no one to call in sick to. You have no benefits. <laughs> you, this, you're just working. You end up working, 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 working. So many self-employed people I know, they do not have any time. They don't see their kids. They don't, they don't do anything. They're exhausted all the time. Their mental health is down. They become the, the HR person, the accountant, the salesman. They're everything to the point where sometimes it, yeah. they get into problem. Yeah. And you know, sometimes they're, they're, they're scrimping and scraping, trying to make ends meet, and all of a sudden they get themselves in debt, especially some of the construction workers who have to borrow in order to do a job and all these different things. So self-employed is still on that side, it's still on the left-hand side. What's on the right-hand side is a business owner. Now business owners versus self-employed is two different things, yeah? We know that. Business owner, they don't work for the money. The system works for the money. So if you think about the CEO of Sainsbury's, they ain't stacking shelves, but the money's still coming in. CEO could be in Dubai, money's still coming in. They could be anywhere around the world, they could be dead, money's still coming in. Because yeah. they have a system working for them. Think about all of the, the people that own apps and technology. We all have smartphones, yeah? Every smartphone we use is making somebody money somewhere else. Every app that we click into is making somebody money. Even whilst they're sleeping, we're clicking. Think about Amazon. Mr. Bezos is making multi, what well, was before he retired, 
of handing over his whatever, multi-billion dollars from an app that he doesn't have to get up and work for. He doesn't have to do anything. The system is running it. So what wealthy people do differently, business owners do differently from self-employed, is there's a system in place that makes that money. So what we need to find out is how do we, the everyday person like you and I, that we don't have the multi-billions to invest into big companies and to start creating our own apps maybe, but how do we get a piece of that pie? How do we begin to get onto that side of the money where we can have a system, where we can have apps, where we can have technology, where we can have different things working for us? So when I started to read this book, it started to make sense, but I didn't have a product. I didn't have an app. I didn't have anything. And that's when I met my mentor. Now, I have two mentors, a female mentor and a male mentor. And this is one thing I'll definitely advise you. If you're getting into any kind of business, model yourself on somebody who's done it already. Like most of the time, our ideas are not that unique. <laughs> a lot of times, somebody somewhere in the world has done something that we want to do or similar and has done it well. So try to get yourself a mentor, somebody who's done it before that you can model from them and you're able to copy basically. You've got to become a copycat, good one. And so when I met this lady, I got my male mentor, my, my female mentor, and I met the lady and I saw her, I was like, wow. You know those people that you can just see yourself in them? She had the same story as me, three children, uh, you know, the, the same, you know, ex story, divorced, all this type of stuff. Um, and she was powerful. She seemed to be on holiday all the time. Don't you notice that like, rich people seem to be on holiday all the time? Like every time they're posting a picture on social media or something, they're in another location, they're somewhere else. And I was like, how is this woman making so much money? She's a mum, she's balancing three children, she's got a housekeeper, she's got a cleaner. I was like, oh my God, I want to have a cleaner. I want to have someone. And I started to see that this person lived the lifestyle that I wanted. And that's a clue as well. We got to make sure that we vet the people that we are saying that we want to mentor by because a lot of people post on social media is not true. A lot of people are fakes. I see so many people right now, they hire out Airbnbs and pretend it's their house and they're taking pictures like, you know, and it's not even their house. So we have to be careful who we're trying to, you know, emulate because a lot of people don't have the results. Um, and so I made it one, I put it on my vision board that I was going to connect with her and I was going to roll with her and that she would become a friend of mine. Um, and at that time, I didn't have any friends. I don't know how many friends you guys have, right? But the older you get, the less friends you have, right? And also as well, when I say friends, I mean, you know the ride or die, the ones that you can pick up the phone and say, I'm kind of broke this week, can you drop me a hundred pound in my account? Or even the ones that you don't even have to say it, the money's there already, because they can sense it, they can pick it up. Or the ones that know that you need a bit of a break, so they're gonna come around and chill with you, or talk to you, or they haven't heard from you for a few days, so they're gonna check up on you. You know, like real friends. Because the type of person that I was, I was always the friend, but I never had the friend. Does that make sense? I was always pouring into other people, but I never had people pouring into me. And so when I saw her, I was like, not only do I want a mentor, I want a friend. I was, and this is one thing I learned a lot about wealthy people. Wealthy people appreciate things that money can't buy. Although we push and we chase money, wealthy people appreciate things. You know what I appreciate more than anything in the world? Love and loyalty. That's more, that's so important to me. Love and loyalty. I can make my own money. I don't need, I, money is, money, I'm, an, I, I, I'm an attractor of money. Money comes to me all the time. And when you're in a position where you are confident in who you are, you're not gonna chase money. You're not gonna even think about it. What you appreciate in life, love, loyalty. Those two things. Because once you have those things, everything else is, is, is a byproduct. And so I, I made it a point of duty that I was gonna link with her. And I think it was about six months later, me and her linked up and we connected straight away obviously she's from atlanta i'm uk and you know the uk lot we're obsessed with the american accents they love our accent we like theirs so i had that advantage um and i was pregnant at the time and i flew to miami fort lauderdale and i went out to see her um and i said to her listen whatever you're doing i'm ready to serve i'm humble i flew here you can see <laughs> a big belly and everything and um since then she taught me everything that she knew. She introduced me to a lot of her contacts. I spent a couple of weeks in a mansion in Dubai with her. I've been in Dubai about four times um, in one year before the pandemic. I'm flying out again at the end of the year twice with her. 
Um, and she's completely helped me to change my life. Um, and all she showed me, guys, is what I'm gonna show you today. That's it. And what she also did is kept me accountable. If I felt like I wasn't gonna be good enough, she would tell me that I was. If I felt like I was lazy or if I was trying to be greedy, she would tell me that I was. She just kept me in alignment with who I was supposed to be. And, you know, on the back of that one connection, sometimes, you know, a lot of people think it's what you know. It's not, it's who you know. Because if, if you can link someone who has the keys, you they can teach you everything, but you have to have someone to open the door into, into places that we weren't taught in schools. And since linking with her, I've been able to upgrade my house twice, bought multiple properties. Myself and my husband were able to buy a few restaurants, uh, upgraded a car, completely changed the kids' schools. I've got three children, all private schools, right? We've been able to completely change our life and not only me do it, but I've been able to duplicate those results in thousands of people across the world. Um, I got tired of sending money to my family in Jamaica, so I said, instead of me sending you money, I'm gonna help you make money for yourself. And so we created uh, an academy in Jamaica. So we now have an academy in Jamaica. Hundreds of Jamaicans quit their jobs. Hundreds of them literally doing exactly what we're doing now, trading, investing, they have their own online stores, and they literally change their life. Like we're send I'm sending about uh, 100 barrels this year down to Jamaica to give back to the kids there. We've opened one in Trinidad as well. We've got one in um, St. Lucia's Pending. St. Lucia's Pending. My dad's actually out there. He, he's, he's a very good businessman, but when it's father and, uh, father and uh, daughter, well, yeah, we've got, we got a pattern out of certain things. But St. Lucia is coming. <laughs> St. Lucia's coming. We've also got, uh, we've got Trinidad. We've got Nigeria. We've got Ghana. Um, where else do we have? Dubai, uh, all over America, South Florida, different places. But the point is, is that it's duplicatable because a lot of time you'll meet somebody, especially somebody from maybe back in the day from school who's done well, they're not going to teach you how they did well. But what we're doing is everything that I'm doing, I'm duplicating it other people so other people can get the same success. It's not a me thing, it's a we thing, right? It's so that each and every one of us can do it. So if you can follow basic instructions, if you can listen, you will get the same results. It's inevitable, it's the law. You follow a blueprint, you're gonna get the results of the blueprint. Now, why is it hard? Why is it that some people don't succeed? Because life gets in the way. Baby father annoys you, partner spouse gets on your nerves, the kids start playing up, school run, baby's getting you know irritable that day and you'd say you know what i'll put it off i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow and guess what happens well you put off tomorrow don't happen and then next week you say next week next week <coughs> next week and all of a sudden it don't happen the system is easy it's simple in fact what i want us all to do is everyone got their phone everyone got their phone all right you can share if you haven't got your phone i want us all to do this i want us all to do this so oh you pulled up my thing so uh, last year, I think it was, uh, uh, if you're checking out anybody for home business, or anybody that does runs a business from home, this is the website that you go into. It's called businessforhome.com. You may have heard of it. And they're the ones that vet people for business for home. So last year, uh, I was awarded as a recommended distributor there um, so that you can check me out. You can see I'm not fake. You can see I'm not fraud. All these kind of things. There are a lot of scammers out there. You've got to be very, very careful when it comes to people scamming. I've partnered with an amazing educational platform as well called I Am Mastery Academy and they are basically, they've been re uh, recommended by Forbes magazine multiple times, highest income earners and here's the best part, the highest income earners in I Am Mastery Academy as recommended distributors all look like me and you. We have 23 year old Bryce Thompson earning a million a month, right? We have David in my 98 uh, 30 years, 29 years old, a million a month. Most of the top distributors in the academy look like us. As you can see there, you've got a few. This is my mentor, these two here, Matthew Rose and Jason Brown. Um, we've got Justin Owens, he's under 30, earning well over uh, 100,000 a month, a million a month, a million a month, a million a month, well over a million a month. And these are all distrib uh, recommended distributors um, in the academy. Um, and so what I love about this academy is it doesn't discriminate. You don't need to have a perfect credit score. 
you don't need to have a clean uh, background check. We don't do background checks. We don't credit check. You don't want to check your bank account. We don't check where you're born, where you come from, what language you speak. We talk multiple different languages. It's accessible in countries all around the world. All you need is a smartphone and data or Wi-Fi. That's all you need. And the desire to actually do it, right? So what I'm going to show you right now is one of our systems. There's five ways that you can make money with us. Number, there's two businesses um, that you can own, and then there is three money markets, all right? So you've got five ways you can make money. Uh, you can pick all five, you can pick one, you can pick two, you can pick three, whatever you want. Five ways you can make money, here we go. So you've got, these are the five ways you can make money. These are the different academies that we have here. So you've got FRX, HFX, DCX, and ECX, and IBO. Now these two here, ECX and IBO, they're for business people. So if you're a business-minded person, these are the two that you're going to lean towards once you get any of these under your belt. All right. If you're somebody that is, uh, what can I say? If you're somebody that just wants to take your time and wants to make maybe 100, 200 pound a week, 300 pound, you just want to make average money, then you're going to only look at these three, which are money markets. They're designed for customers. So FRX, HFX, DCX. If you're someone with business mind, you also think to have ECX and IBO. And I'm gonna go through what they mean right now. But first of all, I want us to have some fun. So if everyone gets their phone out for me, and I want you to go into your phone, and I want you to type in pocketoption.com. So go into the website and type in pocketoption.com. and you should get a screen that looks like this. Flip onto your, excellent, perfect. You should get a screen that looks like this, all right? Now, it may look a little bit confusing at first, but I promise you it's so easy. All you need are these two buttons, the green button and a red button. That's all you need. Just these two buttons here. Ignore everything else, and all you want is the green button and the red button, right? So even if you're not on there, I'll show it to you from the screen. Now, one of the things, so this is the HFX. This is one way you can make money. Um, a lot of my busy mums are doing this. People that work full time, if you're busy, this is gonna be perfect for you. I know um, uh, Gary is killing it on this right now. HFX, we also call it money in minutes. I mean, we're not supposed to call it money in minutes because that's bad advertising. But we can do 30 second, 60 second trades. So in my opinion, it's less than a minute money, right? Now, a lot of people, what they believe as a trader, how many of you have heard, the market's going down, you're losing money. Anyone heard that? It's a lie. When the market goes down, we make money too. We make money whether it goes up or down, it doesn't matter. We just have to predict the direction of the market. So if we think the market's gonna go up, we're gonna press the green button. If we think the market's gonna go down, we're gonna press the red button. Doesn't matter to us. We make the same amount of money as long as we predict the right direction. Do me a favor, can we go into a faster currency? Can you click into gold for me, please? It's going to gold. You guys know I love me some gold. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, right then, right then, we're here. Down, 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 down. There we go, boom. All right, that's really good. That's 80% as well. Excellent. All right, so here we have, do you use all these? Um, Sometimes I do. Oh, blind. I don't know. Do you use all of these? You've got all these, all, all, all these um, confirmations. Yeah. You really turn into a trader. Right, okay, cool. Ignore Gary's confirmations. I don't use confirmations, guys. I'm a very simple trader. I don't want to see all these lines and lines and lines. I don't use any of this. And so when you come in, you will begin to learn your own strategy. You will do your own thing, right? Now here we have it. Okay, good. Can we zoom into the candles a little bit? Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Excellent. Okay. Good. All right, let's get to the end. Okay. So can we see this moving? Can we see it? This is live market, guys, right? Can you see this moving? Yeah. It's currently moving. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Who's a guest here? Who's not in the academy, never traded before, never done this before? Excellent, sir, I'm gonna use you. What's your name? Ian. Ian, okay, Ian. 
Can you see this, this bar? It's not very big, but can you see it moving up and down? Oh, actually. Can you, can you see it now? Yes. Yeah? All I want you to do is tell me within the next 60 seconds. Oh, go back. Go back. Come out of that. Demo yeah, please go on to demo. I don't want to be. <laughs> All right, excellent. Right, there we go. Simple. Now that's fine. Perfect. All right. So in the next sixty seconds, do you think this market is going to keep going down, or do you think it's going to go up? Based on what? I I just want you to take a wild guess. Oh, okay. So before we do any kind of training, I want you to just take a wild guess. I think it will go up. Ah, okay. So press the green button for me, Dan. Excellent. So now we've entered into the trade. Can you guys see the green lines appear? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. All right, so that's what we call our entry point. Now the entry point just simply means that's where we got into the trade. Mm -hmm. Time is up here, so we have 46 seconds left of the trade. Now what do we want? We want the market to be above this green line at the end of the timer. If it does, we'll make $1,440. If it goes under, we'll lose $800, right? So that's how simple this is. So we have 30 seconds. At the moment we're in profit, we want it to stay above this green line. As long as it stays above the green line, we're gonna make $1,440. And this is looking good, Ian, on your first guess. Usually it takes people about two or three times. <laughs> it only takes about two or three times to get there. And let's see, we've got five seconds, Ian. This is gonna be close. Two. One. Let's go! Yeah. Excellent. Congratulations. Can I, be, can I be approach my own No, you can't. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes you wish we put that on your live account now. We just did the demo. We did the demo. Besides, why didn't I use my live account? All right. So that was an $800 trade. Of course, Ooh. if you, uh, you know, if you get started, you don't have to use $800. You can start with $1, one pound. You can use whatever currency. Obviously, we're global, so we use all different currencies, but you can use one pound, 10 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever amount you feel comfortable trading with, all right? But now, what we just did there was a guess, yeah. right? Now, if you're a YouTube trader or you've heard of your, you know, your cousin and them from the chicken shop trading, you will know that a lot of people, most traders lose money. They don't make money. Why? Because they do just that. They guess. What we have is an algorithm, the algorithm that the banks use to trade our money every day. So how does this work? How do you make that type of money in seconds? I want you to think about this. I'm going to Jamaica and I'm gonna exchange my Great British Pound to Jamaican dollars or American dollars these days, right? So I've exchanged my money. When I, let's say for example, I got to the airport and they said, unfortunately, Nikki, you can't go away. COVID restrictions, no, no more. Now these dollars are useless to me. Let's say I used a thousand pounds to transfer into my dollars and now I can't use them. Same day, I'm now gonna go back to the bureau to change it back into my pounds. Am I gonna get my thousand pounds back? What am I gonna get back, more or less? Less, why? Because the rates change, right? And also in the bureau, they're charging you for it. So they're doing commissions and taxes and stuff like that. All that is, what they should put is their profit. There is no such thing as commissions and taxes. It's just their profit, right? Now, what if the market went the other way? So the market didn't actually go down. The market went up. Instead of losing money, you're going to get back more money. Yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what we did there. What we did is we timed it. We waited for the market to drop down where we noticed at its lowest. And then, boom, we knew that it was going to rise back up in 60 seconds. Because the market's doing this all day, every day. Money doesn't sleep. So that's all we did. We exchanged it and we exchanged it back when it rose, right? That is what trading is in essence. It's exchanging money and then exchanging it back at a different rate. Now the thing is, right, when you now hear people say trading is a scam, you can point blank tell them, how can trading be a scam when we trade, when we exchange our currencies every single day? It can't be a scam. What's a scam is when a, a guy messages you on Instagram and says, yo, send me a hundred pound and I'll flip it for you. That's the scam. Because he can't even flip a burger, let alone flip your money. So you don't want to give no money to nobody to do it. You can do it yourself. This is a free website. This is a free website that you can actually do this yourself. 
A lot of people do this themselves on YouTube. That's why they lose, because you can't learn this stuff on YouTube. So what we have in our academy in the HFX is a tool that tells you when to hit that button. It gives you notifications 24 hours a day, and it tells you press the green button, press the red button. So you're being told when it's at its lowest. So we have a song, we go, we buy when the market is low, and we sell when the market is high. We buy when the market is low, and we sell when the market is high, right? So you know when the market's low, you're gonna buy, and when the market's high, you're gonna sell, that's it. But when you don't know what you're doing and what you're looking for, you need something that's gonna tell you when's the market low, when's the market high. And this algorithm tells you exactly that. So you guys know your colors, right? If you know your colors, you can get into these trades. So can you see this line at the side? Red. What does that mean? Sell. Sell. See this line at the side? Buy. 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 And in case you're colorblind, guess what? It even tells you sell, <laughs> sell, <laughs> buy, buy. So there's no way that you can mess this up. It even gives you arrows here. Look, sell, boom. Sell, boom, buy. Like it's so simple that my seven year old son has been trading for three years. He's 10 now. My son's probably got more money in his trading account than a lot of people. <laughs> seven years old. I taught my son this from seven years old. He knows how to buy and sell. He understands the market. He understands support, resistance. He gets RSIs. He gets stochastics. My son's uh, trading app looks like yours. All the lines and all the stuff, he's 10 years old. Let me tell you this, these kids are so good at computer games, why have we got them on the games? Put them on the trading. Let them understand this stuff from young because we know the schools ain't teaching them. So my son uses this, right? Now what do you also get? So yes, you're gonna get them told to buy and sell. There's also an app, feel free, it's a free app from your Play Store, App Store, and it's called HFX Swipes. Now this app is just gonna text you 24-7. Buy, sell, buy, sell. You can download that right now. You will need a registration code to get into it, but you can download it. It's a free app. HFX swipes, and that will text you 24 hours a day. Buy, sell, buy, sell. And you're just copying the information and you're hitting the button. It's very, very simple. Now here's the next thing the Academy do, which I absolutely love, guys, is you get teachers 24 hours a day. Now these teachers, what they do, if you didn't want to copy yourself from the app or you didn't want to use the algorithm, you can log in similarly to a Zoom call, but it's our website with a password. You would log in and you would have access to 250 teachers. Now what are they doing? You're going online. Not only are you now going to take the money, but you're also learning it for yourself. So you now learn how to chart up. You now learn how to recognize the patterns in the market. You now learn way to get in for yourself so that you are not, um, you know, guesswork, okay? So some people come in just to earn, some people come in to earn and learn. And it's completely up to you what you want. You wanna earn and learn, then you can come on. We've got Millie here, right? One of, the, one of the educators that we absolutely love on the platform, Millie comes on. Not only does she give you teaching, but you're getting paid on these sessions. This is not like your normal classroom sessions, guys. You're getting, you're making money on these sessions. So you go on there. Have we got any sound? Yeah. See if we can get the sound on. Okay. So what is support? If this is our touch this support zone, it bounce right back up. Okay? Because the market is always repeating itself. Now you're probably wondering, okay, Lily, I see more bubbles and lines and things like that. What is what are all these little circles, right? Well, this is another indicator, guys. Okay, this is another indicator. So this is actually beautiful you asking those questions to yourself. If you see parabolic dots below the candles, then this is a great indication that you're definitely seeing this market shooting up. So because we're going in for a buy and we see these parabolic dots forming later on, you know that this market is definitely going to, going to go up massively. Not just going to go up for two minutes, 
might go up to like maybe eight, nine, ten minutes. Wow. Right? Who's up? Can we flip into DL Woods? Yeah. All right. So my favorite guys. I'm a mum, so I have to do a lot of things. I'm very busy. I have multiple businesses. Millie is on in the middle. Of, she's on at five p.m. most days. Five p.m. I'm just doing school run. I'm rushing around. I'm doing certain things. So I like to trade at four a.m. Five a.m. This is when the house is quiet. This is when I'm peaceful. This is where I've got time for myself. So this is where, and it's kind of high. This is my boy Dia Woods. A uh, very, very good friend of mine. Um, I, I've linked up with him multiple times in Miami. And he trades authentically, <laughs> put it that way. Let's see if we can get um, DL Woods. What I love about DL Woods is he trades on his live account. This is a $5,000 trade, right? So with him, he's playing music, he's quite excitable, and he's trading on his live account. So what does that mean? He ain't gonna lose me. He, Cause he's gonna lose too. So he's very heavily invested in the uh, trades. That's what I end up. I've once seen him make a hundred grand in one session. We literally sat there together and made money. Five a.m. in the morning, four a.m. in the morning. Don't pick me up in my room. Alright, so. One hundred in the morning. Four in the morning. Four in the morning. $50,000 a month on the business side, as well as multi, multi millions in his trading. Um, what I love about him, and I do love Millie, because Millie's my girl, and I love female educators, the whole of the squad jump on Millie. Millie don't show her traits, DL does. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I love is the fact that he's passionate, because we're not gonna win every trade, let's be fair. But when he loses, he loses, you, you can't even complain if you've lost a little bit, because he's gonna lose big. And he's coming in and he's calling the trades. So you know when he's calling the trades, he's doing it passionately because he's getting in the trades as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love Millie. Also, there's a gentleman here called Mr. Ballet Granville. Um, he's one of the UK educators. He's actually born in Trinidad. So we can click into uh, Ballet. He's live now, actually. So on here, you can see the ones that are live for the day, right? Mr. Ballet Granville, again, a personal friend of mine. In fact, I'm linking up with him this Saturday um, and we're gonna have a really good time. He's gonna be doing some training sessions. Usually he's the one that This is live now. This is live right now. Welcome from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. What is he marking up now? Right. This is the euro against Let's the United see. States dollar. One, one on the harmonics. and paste and you can copy from the app 
but these sessions they get you paid like i want you to imagine a seven eight figure earner how much you would have to pay just to get them for an hour and you're getting that 24 hours a day on this academy with the best of the best they've been vetted by christopher terry himself which is a ceo um and this guy <laughs> He is a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. He is a personal mentor of mine. I'm very, very close with his wife. Can you imagine, right? I worked in a bank 15 years, trained all the directors of the CEO, and the CEO couldn't tell you my name. I've been in this academy three years, and I know the CEO. There's 400,000 students across the world, but he knows my name. I've been to, he took me out to dinner a year and a half ago because I was the highest earning female, black female in Europe. And he called me from America, flew on his private jet and came and took me to dinner. That's the type of CEO that we're dealing with here of this academy. So he's an absolutely incredible guy. There he is right there. I'm going shopping with Isis. I actually won female of the year. So she's taking me shopping, New York shopping. And this woman only wears like Versace and designer. So I'm excited about that. But the thing is, right, these individuals, they love people that are minorities. They love people that are triers and they help people out. They're very, very, um, you know, they're into what we're into, put it that way. And they support us. I've never been a part of anything. When I partnered with this company, I've never seen anything like it. So Chris and Isis, the vision is very clear, multi-billion dollar company, uh, both been recognized in Forbes multiple times. Uh, in fact, Chris's cryptocurrency portfolio wallet <laughs> is bigger than the whole company itself. That's how big he is. He was a multi-millionaire before he started this company. The company's debt-free, doesn't own anyone, completely debt-free. Um, you know, completely owned outright. They have no debts personally. They have nothing outstanding. Uh, and they've partnered with Bob Proctor, which I'm sure we all know Bob Proctor, guru when it comes to mindset. Because I want to let you guys know, trading is a mindset. Okay, we tell you to press the green button, but you're, you're busy, you press the red button by mistake, you lose money. You say, right, I, I'm going to make a thousand pounds today. You make that thousand, you're like, oh, let me go for two. Then you lose the ground. Greed. Greed is one of the things that I see kill people every single day in this business. Greed, comparing to other people. Oh, she started after me, but she's making more money than me. Th those things will destroy your mindset. So we do a lot of mindset work, a lot of things about your goals, your strategies, why you want to make it, what you want to do. Because as you can see, the system is simple. Very, very simple. But it's not easy when life is happening alongside you. So what we do is we work alongside you. So how do we help you control your greed? Number one, mindset calls. Number two, something called a wealth plan. Now with the wealth plan, what we look to do is help you to grow your account from three to 10% every day, all right? As a beginner, we'd start at 3% just so that you wouldn't be you know, too, too stressed out, too you know, focused. But I want you to have a look at this. This is brilliant. This is compounding, guys. So even if you started with 50 pounds, right? Forget the dollar sign, we're gonna say 50 pounds, and you grew your account by 3% every day, right? Just 3% every day, okay? Can we go over to the yeah. other side? Go on, to, go on to the actual, compound yeah, compound daily for me. And do 100. That's it. So everyone that starts the academy on day one, this is what we get them to do. How much are you looking to start investing? You know, what is the amount that you're gonna do? How this say for 90 days, okay? And then not including weekends, okay? So every single person in the academy, they get this when they come in. You come into a beginner's class. The beginners class literally take you through everything, make sure you've got your app sorted, get you placing your trade there and then. So within your first 24 hours, you'll have that, right? So scroll down, scroll down, excellent. So here we have it, day one, all right? 3% on your 50, did you put 100? Yeah. Okay, so 3% on your 100, okay? You've got there your three pounds. Make sense? I mean, it's simple maths, right? You think, okay, so I've got now 103 pounds. You're like, this ain't, this ain't going nowhere. 3%, now it's there, six, blah, 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 blah. Let's bring it straight down. 
So after 30 days, you've compounded, right? Your 100 pounds to 100, uh, 242 pounds. Now question, you had 100 pounds in your bank account for 10 years, would it ever hit 242 pounds? Never, right? Now you carry on, so 60 days. 60 days, your 100 is now 589. All right, down to the bottom for me. 90 days, 100 pounds, just under 1,500 pounds, right? That's just 100 pounds, and that's just 3%, right? We have students now doing 5%, 10% every single day, and all they're doing is copying from the HFX tool and pasting it into their phone. Where people lose money, when they want to take their own trades, when they decide that they're the educator, when they say, oh, they're not giving enough trades, you done hit your 10%, you done hit your 3%, and you still want to do more. This is where it gets dangerous and where you lose money. I'm just telling you guys, honestly, because I've seen it happen before, where people have made shed loads of money. It's even happened to me. I made, on one day, <laughs> I made 27 grand in one day. You know how much I lost in one day? 27 grand. <laughs> you know why? Greed. Because I wanted to push it to 30. See, you know now, my target. 20 grand, you stop. That's my limit, I'm done. Don't get greedy, you got nothing. Why am I going in the market? And what would happen is someone from the team would say, Nikki, you see gold. And that word gold is like, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, what's going on with gold? And all of a sudden, I'm now charting this thing up and I'm like, oh, I could get in for a cheeky sell. I've had to learn to control my money. Because now money is so accessible, it's easy to grab, but you can lose if you don't stick to your plan. Right? Very important to stick to your plan. So, Forex, this is your FRX pack. You're gonna get apps on your phone, and these apps are gonna text you notifications to your phone. As you can tell, my favorite app is this one, Gold Cup. This is a part of the FRX pack. This texts you gold trades, oil, silver, platinum, all different types of commodity. Now these are high risk trades, but they pay good. This gold cup, this is bae. This is my boo. This is my baby. This is my lover. This is everything to me. Gold cup is the number one app in the academy. 97% accuracy. It's an absolutely beautiful tool. Um, and the reason why, because you have it on the go. It's an app that texts you when to get in the trades. You set it, you forget it, you leave it alone. Sometimes it takes an hour, it's not HFX. This is now a trade that doesn't time out. It comes out when it hits a, a certain uh, price. So let's say you get in at one, uh, I don't know, 1.00, and you're gonna tell it to cash you out at 2.00. So you know whatever you did, you're gonna double your money, right? You're gonna triple your money. You're gonna make more money from this than the HFX, hands down, right? But it means that you might have to wait an hour, two hours. Whereas HFX, you have to physically be watching the market. This, you set it, you forget it, you leave it, you catch your money when you get home or in an hour or two. Absolutely beautiful. You also get the swipe trades, which is copy and paste. Uh, this is a mixture between Forex and gold trades. And one of my favorites now is the swipe coin cryptocurrency. Do we have any cryptocurrency fanatics? Any cryptocurrency for night? Yes, some crypto, yeah. What crypto have you got? I've got um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, XRP. Good. Um, <laughs> I hope you don't have your crypto wallet on your phone. I have some. Delete that app. That's the <laughs> fastest way to get yourself scared. Let me tell you, no apps, no crypto app should be on your phone. Right? You want to have it on your desktop yeah. only, hard drive. Right? You want to make sure that you move it over. You don't know Satoshi's on your phone. Straight onto your um, your your hard drive, please. The way people steal from you now is different. They steal now online. They don't come to your house and rob you anymore. Everything is all cyber attacks. ADA is the yeah, one I've that got, you want to buy. I've got, got Bake, I've got Doge, um, I've got B-Chain, I've got... Um, you tripped her up. Yeah. <laughs> right now we have an educator specifically uh, a brother of mine Curtis Cobain a great guy we had a, um, a tool a call a couple of weeks back and what he does every single week is tell you where to move your cryptos so you know when Bitcoin dropped the other day I don't know if you guys saw it in the news you must have seen it everywhere 
We got told by Curtis Bitcoin was going to fall. So guess what we did? We pressed the sell button. We shipped the crypto, made money on um, ADA. And then when crypto start, uh, Bitcoin started to rise again, we bought at a low price. So this is the education that you need. So a lot of people right now, what they're doing is they're buying because the brethren from around the road tells them to buy. And then the market crashes and they're all panicking. But when you have a brother like Curtis Cobain in your back office, every single week he tells you where to move your cryptos to, when to buy, when to shift it, when to lift it, when to put it away. This man does a session every week and he tells you what you need to do. So that is Curtis Cobain. All right, so the last market I'm gonna share with you guys is the ECX and IBO. This is where you're gonna get excited. This is where you can have an online store that sells products that you don't own. This is for my business people. How many of you used Amazon? Used Amazon before, yeah? Now, when you use Amazon, I've actually ordered some stuff and it arrived today. When I looked at the box, it didn't have an Amazon. Have you ever seen boxes that are not Amazon, but you ordered it on Amazon? Mm -hmm reason why is because Amazon don't own the product. The product is owned by somebody else. You just bought it from Amazon. Now the product cost me a hundred pound, but it didn't cost Amazon a hundred pound. It actually cost Amazon 30 pounds. They made 70 pounds off, of off of my purchase. The company charged 30, Amazon charged a hundred. When I give them my hundred, Amazon sends 30 pounds to the customer, uh, the, the real supplier, and they keep my 70 pounds. Every single time we buy from Amazon, that's how they make their money, right? That's how they make their money. So what we do with the ECX Academy is you are now your own Amazon. So you get to open your own online store. We teach you how to open your online store. We actually put the products on there for you. You don't have to buy the products. You just got the pictures there. We show you how to sell online. We get your, um, your website algorithms that help people all across the world buy from you and you're also now making money as the middle person you don't have to do nothing your money comes to your phone that's it that's the question uh -huh. Go for it. what if you have a product that you would like to sell you? if you do then it's it's not really uh, you can put the product on there but it means you have to do the work okay. so i have products i have t-shirts i have branding mugs but i thought why would i put my t-shirts and branding mugs on there because it means i have to ship it out i have to do the work but if I'm using the products that the academy give me, I don't have to do nothing, I collect the money they do with all of that. But the minute you add your own products, it means now you're the supplier. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And what we want to teach you is how you can make money with no effort. Remember at the beginning, we're talking about no time, without you putting your time in. The minute you do that, now you're back to self-employed, rather than being a business owner and allowing the system to make you money. Okay. Yeah. But it is, you, you can put your, your products on there if you want, I've had some people that are doing cakes that do that. I've had people that are doing jewelry do that as well. Um, but it just means that you're saying that I'm going to be the one doing the legwork and shipping it all out. Um, so that's ECX Academy. And lastly is my IBO. Um, IBO just means the only way that you can get any of this is you've got to know a man who knows a man. You can't get in just by Googling I am Academy. You have to know someone that's in this community to be able to get in. Anybody ever seen online any celebrities that say, click this link in my bio, get 20% off, yeah. click this link, share this Uber link and you get five pound off your next ride next time. You guys seen that? Yeah. Beyonce, she has it all the time, always telling you to click a link in their bio. They're not doing it because they want to help you, they're doing it because they make money from it, right? Every single click pays them. So although you get 20% off, they make money from your payment, from your transaction. So what I am Mastery Academy are doing is they say this, no one can come in unless they click a link in the bio. So if you wanna get started today, you need to click someone's link to purchase one of these packages. Now when you purchase any of these packs, or anybody purchases any of these packs on your website, now you get residual income. Now you get paid without doing anything. So for example, with the Bitcoin wave, when everyone was going into Bitcoin, Everyone was clicking onto my page. Go back to that one. Go back to that, Jerry. Uh, which one, sorry? Where we were just now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin Wave, DCX Academy. That's where you're going to get Curtis Cobain, all your digital currencies and all your training. People were clicking the link in my social media bio. And every time someone purchased the DCX Academy, 
Twenty-five dollars will just drop in my account. Twenty-five, 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 twenty-five. Just free money just coming in. I don't even know these people. People from Jamaica, Ghana, Nigeria, all over the world, clicking. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. Just like that. Now, if somebody clicks all three, which is called the elite pack, so you can get them individually, or you can pick the elite, which gives you all three, then you get fifty dollars, right? So fifty dollars for the elite, which is all three. 25, 25, 25, and also 25 for the elite, uh, the ECX Academy commission. Now here's the thing. When you have free customers, you now start to get residual income on top. So you unlock something called the influencers pack. Now when you become an influencer, what happens is the company pay you every single month. So this is where the link in my bio pays me 15,000 a month only, every month. 15,000 a month, every month, not including my ECX shop, not including my HFX, my DCX, not including my FRX, this is just passive money that comes in my account because I'm here as a chairman, right? So free customers click onto you, the link in your bio, you now get $150 every single month. Every single month, $150. 12 people, $600 every single month. 30, 1,000. Now here's the best part about this. You help free individuals join this academy and then you just focus on your trading, you focus on your shop, you carry on your life. And those three end up bringing in people, 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 people. You will by default get to Platinum 600. You don't need to bring them all in yourself. So now this is a business within a business. You franchise the business and now you have your own franchise that's paying you every single week. So 30 individuals, $1,000 a month. I hate that in my first month. I didn't have hardly any followers on social media. I didn't have hardly any friends. I just was making money. I was like, listen, I'm making money. I flipped 10 P into 17 pounds in two days, out in two hours. I told my friend. I bought my mum in, my grandma, and my husband. They were the first three people that I bought in. Right now, all three of them are about to hit chairman, which is 10,000 a month. They were the first three I bought in. My mum, my 77 year old grandmother is trading HFM. That's how deep it is, guys. So you don't have to know people. My grandma start telling people in her church. You know how people start chatting. Everybody's talking. I ain't doing nothing. I just bought in my mom, my husband, my grandma. I hit Platinum 1000 in four weeks. I didn't even know what Platinum 1000 was. 250 coming in my account every week. And then I started to get aggressive because I was like, if I could do this without really doing nothing, imagine if I started to promote, imagine if I started to do events, imagine if I actually started to spread the word, what would happen? Before I joined this company, no female in Europe had hit chairman. And in one year, 10 months, I hit chairman 10, which is 10,000 a month, all right? 500 customers, 500 clicks, which is only 12 platinum 1,000. So you find 12 people that want to go kind of 1,000, you are now a chairman in this business. Chairman Ted making 10,000 a month, passive. This is not including your trading, not including any other things that you're doing. This is just side money that's happening to come in. Chairman 25, um, I'm about to get crowned that chairman 25 in the next week and a bit, which is 25,000 a month, all right, minimum. Including bonuses, you're looking at about 35,000 a month, passive. And that's just because I decided to bring in my mom, my grandma, and my husband. Three people that I love, three people that I didn't want to watch me get rich by myself, that I now wanted to help them. My grandma is 77 years old. She's gonna be one of the, she's gonna be the oldest chairman in the UK, in Europe. 77 years old. My son, he's like, can I go P150 yet, mama? I'm like, you ain't 18 yet. You can't go P150 yet. He's already talking to people in Sainsbury's. He's like, you wanna, have you been drinking? You're just trying to just buy our shopping. He's so embarrassing. 10 years old and he's already ready. He's hungry. But this is the thing. What are we teaching our children? He can see me grinding. He can see me doing what I'm doing. And he wants to duplicate it. So Chairman 500, this isn't up to date. We also have a Chairman 750 and a Chairman 1000 which is currently where David, Bryce, um, and my mentors, Matt and Jason are, which is one million a month. So there's no cap. Now I'm not telling you guys that everyone in this room is gonna make a million a month, because not everyone in this room maybe will be prepared to do what's necessary, but the thing is, is at least it's available. I couldn't even earn a million a month in my job. 
So let's go into the um, how do you get started? What's the price? Because I know everyone's thinking how much does it cost? Let's go into the cost. So there's th uh, five different packages. All right. You've simply got the FRX, HFX, DCX, or ECX. They're all the same price, which is two hundred and thirty-five US dollars. Which is I don't know why it's written in pounds. It's two hundred and thirty-five. Oh, here we go. 235 dollars, which is around 170 pounds now with the exchange rate, and that is a one-time fee only for access for 28 days. You have access to 28 days, make as much money as you like. You make 3,000, 4,000, whatever you make in your first 28 days, and you say, "Hey, listen, I made a bunch of money. I want to come and do it again." Boom! You can reactivate, but this time we discount it down for you for 175 dollars, which is around 130 pounds. All right. If you want all three money markets, this is the FRX, HFX, and the cryptocurrency, you're looking at the Elite Academy, which is $325, which is around £200, £235 with the exchange rate, and then you want to do it all over £199, all right? So it's very affordable. Um, you know, you've got Oxford University, same fee without the earning, just the learning, £10,000, three months. That's Oxford University. And this is why I love this company because we're doing it affordable where everyone can afford it. Now, we have the pay. How many of you want to wipe away the monthly fee? Because I know the monthly fee is something that gets in a lot of people's head. We have something called the two and three. Now, two and three just means if you know two people that want to get started, you know two people that want to make money, two business minded people, two people that are, you know, you feel like they will really be good at this, two people click your link. Boom, you have free access. You can make as much money as you like and you do not have to pay a penny for the services and you can stay in, all right? That's the two and three deal. Once you get your third person, you then choose, do I want to stay free or do I want to franchise the business and start making the Platinum 150 money, etc., etc. So there's so many options, there's so many different plans. I'm not gonna bore you with all of those now. Bottom line is, is you can make a lot more money than in your job. You can make a lot more money than you have now and you can tailor it to your pocket. No one's gonna take your money, no one's gonna trade your money for you, we're just gonna teach you how to do it for yourself. That's what it is. No one's investing your money, we just show you the apps to download for yourself, we teach you how to do it for yourself. Once you've learned how to do it for yourself, you don't even need us anymore. You go, how many people I've trained that are not in the academy no more, they have independently traded. They don't need to pay anymore, they don't need to pay because they don't wanna become a chairman, and they don't need the tools and services anymore because they've learned the skill for themselves. But learning takes time. Earning is straight away. Why? Because you can copy the mentors, you can copy the trades that we send you. Any questions before we wrap up today? Yes. Right. Um, so this is a virtual business. It's nothing to, is it something that you can put in a limited company or is it a separate kind of thing? So, what we're doing is, so my, how I register myself, I'm an independent, um, I have my independent business, and the income from this business, because of the amounts that I'm dealing with, I run that through my business. So this is an educational platform, this is not a business. You're franchising the business, but you're an independent business owner. So you'll be independent. So you could register under a limited company. You don't have to register your, your name. You could register as a lim limited company if you wanted to, or you could register as your name. It's completely up to you. Right, so then you just have the money coming to your limited company. No, 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 remember, they don't take your money. So how we set up um, the, the education is me saying to you, download this app. You download the app. So I'm gonna tell you what to do on the app, but you're the one that's gonna be doing it. How you transfer your money is down to you. That's nothing to do with them. So let's, let me give you an example. <laughs> I make my money from the app. I do not put it in my UK account. Why? Because the last time I did that, I got a tax bill of 60,000 pounds, right? Because I registered it wrong. I had really bad legal advice. My account was not the best, didn't understand it. This is the thing. I bought a property the other day. Nobody understands this world. So I'm having to teach the underwriters <laughs> about what this actually is because a lot of people don't understand it. So you have to have the right team behind you. So inside the academy, inside our personal circle, we have the right people involved that can give you the advice 
Um, Jonathan is my accountant within the academy and he can advise and say, listen, this is where you want to put your money. Before you transfer your money out, you just have a chat and he will say, put it there, put it there, put it there. With the residual income, it doesn't touch your bank account. They're an American company, so they put it into an app. You can spend directly from the app, the card. You don't have to transfer it into your bank account. I've actually got my card here. You got your screw card there? Yeah. Screw pays the bill. So the card looks like this. So you can use it anywhere, similar to any kind of MasterCard that you'd have. So if you, let's say you brought in your 500 people and you had your 10,000 a month, it comes in here and you spend it from any ATM machine in the world, you don't have to put that in your bank account. I ain't telling you what to do, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's an American company, right? So, um, you know, for me personally, I have the right team behind me because I ain't looking to get another 60 grand tax bill. Um, and that's because, you know, I had the wrong advice. But yeah, so we don't take your money. We just tell you what to do. So before, when you're trading, you're trading in the app. And once you make your profits, you then decide where to transfer those profits to. Yeah? So it's not like, so for example, the app is in your name but you want to transfer it to your grandma, hypothetically speaking. See what I'm saying? So it's not controlled by the company, it's controlled by you. Any other questions? So, um, does the PayPal, does PayPal operate the same way as a school account? No idea. I wouldn't recommend PayPal. PayPal, they're even doing cryptocurrency now, but they're selling Satoshis, not really selling the real cryptos. Mm -hmm. I would not mess with PayPal, to be fair. Yeah, that's true. Not with what we do. I won't mess with PayPal. <laughs> Any other questions? How many hours do you do, you do a week? Now? Yeah. Trading? <laughs> Probably about 10 minutes a week. That's now. When I first started, I was obsessed. I wanted to learn. I wanted to make as much money as I could with the little that I had. See, when you have a lot, you can trade less time. When you have a little, you got to do. You got to make up the time because you're going to be. Doing. Imagine the H effects, right? You start with ten pounds, so you're going to be doing two pound, two pound, two pound, two pound. You know, it's, you're going to be building yourself up. Once you get to a place where you can do no income claims, but you could do between. 10 to 60,000 in 60 seconds, you don't need to trade every week. Do you see what I'm saying? So it all depends on your pocket, it all depends on your goals. One week I had the tax bill, so I was trading a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so it all depends on what your goals are for the week. I mean, when I, I was doing silly things. When I first started trading, me and my girlfriends would go out to lunch, go out to dinner, and we would place trades before the meal to make sure that we had enough to pay for the meal before the end of the meal. And I post it on social media, like the bill was 70 pounds, a trade was 73, and it was, it was just little silly things like that. I mean, we have, in my mind, I don't want to do nothing at a loss. It's only now that I've kind of calmed down, but everything in my mind, okay, I've got to make that back. I've got to make that back. I got make, and I realized that was a trade that I got from my dad. Everything is like you've got to make it back. You don't spend no money until you know how you're going to make it back. You don't spend until you know how you're going to make it back. And so although he didn't raise me, we connected the last two years. And he was saying things and I was finishing the sentences. I was like, oh my God, it's genetic because you didn't raise me. But I talk like that too. <laughs> so yeah, I, it all depends. You, there is The greatest thing here, there's no limit to how much you can earn. There is no limit. You want to make more, you get on it. It's 24 hours a day. You want to do less? You do. I've got. We have people that work full time that trade on their lunch break. They come on the session just in their lunch break. Go back. Absolutely. Two o'clock in the morning. Three. Mm -hmm. When are you doing another go goldathon? I was uh, just gonna say that because yeah. that, that goldathon just really say often. Oh, I just yeah. I don't just, so all much. my trades is just pure gold. I don't even look at anything people else. People made a lot of money during that goldathon. Yeah. They made a lot. I've got so many people hooked on gold. It's unbelievable. Everywhere it's I go, they're like, so, "Where's the next goldathon?" Yeah. I, I, all my trades is just gold. I just study it and just think, and I go, "Yeah." Um, 
I just think for when you first started, you then you just go up there, guys, and then that, no, 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 don't wait, wait, wait there, guys. Uh, it just happened, and it's like, right, now go. Those sessions are really fun. I really enjoyed them. I'm actually doing up my office at the moment, um, and I'm waiting for my new computer to come. And once that comes, you guys have heard it firsthand. I will be doing another gold of Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I will be doing another gold. That's I actually took time. I mean, I'm self-employed. I actually took time off work just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I was like, to, a lot of people well. called in sick during yeah. older fun. They yeah. were not, they were like, listen, I'm going to make more money here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at my job. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna, I ain't going to work this week. Yeah. People people yeah. left their jobs. The well. um, Lisa retired from her job at the end of that gold. We had four wow. people quit their jobs at the end of that gold. Wow. We had the last gold of fun before that, I think before you guys came in. Um, Jade, Lisa, Charmaine all got deposits for their house on the Golden Fund before. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I just joined when that put that for the last one. The last one, yeah. yeah. Golden Fund is something that a lot of people, they love it. I get messages weekly, daily sometimes. Oh, Golden Fund. <laughs> so, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Are you having another question? Yeah, just to confirm. Um, so, you put money, there's money in your account, you put money in your account, and you can increase it. But can it go minus even though you so you haven't so you can't trade what you don't have so let's say for example you put in 100 into that hfx account yeah you can't do 110 trades it won't yeah. allow you so you can only do the amount that you have in your account so if i've got 100 i can only lose 100. yes oh. correct yeah you will never go into deficit yeah. on the account. Um, i was going to ask uh, what's what's your goal now then it's crazy because my goal now, <laughs> right now, my goal is not associated to me personally. I have like, I was speaking to my mentor and I realized that during lockdown, I kind of eased up a bit. And I realized I eased up, although my income was going up, I eased up. And I realized that I'd lost my zeal because I didn't want for anything anymore. And that might sound crazy. Mm. But I didn't. And my mentor said to me, Nick, you need to wake up. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I don't know real why anymore. Like, I've done this, I've done that. I'm about to buy my mum a house because she needs to get out of that. Like, I've done all my goals. So now I attach, attach my goals onto others. So my goal for the next two years is to create 100 people that are making at least 100,000 a month. That's my goal. And I'm not going to stop because oh if, God. yeah, 100 people, 100 people. How, how, how do you, what's that plan? Is that like uh, getting people to do more um, IBOs or? No, anything. Whatever, anybody under my mentorship, right now, the way I work as well is I don't mentor everybody because not everybody can handle that type of goal. So what I do is I wait until they get to the level like Gary, Platinum 1000, Platinum 2000, when I see that they're, they're, they're committed. Because so many times, I, like when I take on like a mentor, mentee, I take it to bed with me, it goes in my heart. And if I see people not living up to their full potential, I lose sleep. I think about people a lot. And I decided that I cannot put myself through that. I can't torture my husband anymore. Sometimes I'm up in the night and what am I gonna do about this person? And it gets obsessive. When your yeah. goal, like I, my goals are lived through people like Gary, you know, people like Dad. My goals are lived through them. If they don't succeed, I'm not a good mentor. So now my goal is like, boom, 100K. So what I wanna see is I wanna see that they're hungry. I wanna see that they have commitment, desire. Um, when they hit platinum 1000, that's when I take them on. Yeah, Marcia as well. Talk to her every other day. And she's going to kill it. Right now, South, South Florida, they've they, they, they got no chance. She's going to kill it out there. So that's what I look now. I, I qualify people. I, I'm, I'm very straightforward. I'm honest. I'm open. I don't ever claim to be perfect. But what I do claim is that I'll never quit on my mentees. And so if I never quit, I don't expect you to quit. We go all out and we make it happen. So that's how it is. So when you come in, thank you. That's okay. Yes, nice meeting you. So what happens is when you come in, you come into my group chat, we're all in the group, thousands of us. 
you come into the group chat, you'll get the 11 steps, which are the steps to success. Where after you've completed those 11 steps, you can start trading. Or if you pick the e-commerce, you'll start doing your e-commerce. Once you come in and you start to follow that, we'll put you on the mentorship call. So you come on to my mindset calls. You guys been coming on the mindset calls every Monday? Yeah. You come on the mindset calls. You also get my uh, the IBO training. And the people that take the, because the way I vet it is if you can follow instructions, if you can't follow the basic instructions, there's no way you can handle my mentorship. Because my mentorship is how I get mentored. My mentor calls me at two o'clock in the morning and my mentor's like, I ain't seen you post on social media. What's going on? You don't want to make money today. Some people couldn't handle that type of mentorship. Do you see what I'm saying? So I have to make sure that the people that are rising can handle the mentorship, can handle the responsibility, because the vision is huge. So when a lot of people come in, they just come in to make an extra 100, just an extra 200, and that's fine, but they're not the type of people that I'm personally gonna be mentoring on a day-to-day -day basis, because my vision is big. I wanna help people make 100K a, a, 100K a month. And to make 100K a month, there's certain things that you're gonna to have to do. There's certain time commitments, there's certain activities, there's certain mindset level that you have to have in order to do that. Um, and I, I, I've been able to grow into that person because before I wanted to be everybody's savior and it damaged me. Um, so I can't do that anymore. Even to do this, there was 20, there was, I think there was 24 or 26 people that applied for today. And I had to, I said, no, I'm coming to Gary. 26 people applied for me to take this slot. And I said, no, I'm coming to Gary. I can't, I can't physically do everybody. So I have, to, I have to go with who's committed. Gary comes on to every one of my training sessions. Every single one. He's there, hands down without fail. So who am I gonna to go to? The person that's loyal to the system, the person that I know is already taking my mentorship, that's open and available, that's where I come. So if the goal is 100,000 a month, you gotta think about it. The way I, I compare myself to Oprah, because that's who I look to. Would Oprah be happy mentoring me the way I'm mentoring my people? If the answer is no, then I need to change. If Oprah followed me for a whole day, would she think I was using my 24 hours wisely? Or would she think that I'm a joker? Would she invest in me? And if you think like that, you push yourself harder because you're like, okay, now I'm, I'm, <laughs> I need to wake up earlier. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, um, uh, there's, a, there's a mentor named Bob Proctor and he says that, uh, actually no it wasn't Bob Proctor anyway, there's a different person and he said that in the beginning when you come in, you know, there's pe you, you come in as a poser first and then later on you become... That's Eric Warren. Eric Warren, that's it. And the thing is, I just want to know like goals, it's setting your goals because you know, you kind of have to know exactly what goals to set um, so that you can, you know, just stay, mm -hmm. stay on the path, you know. Let me be honest with you Danny. The mind is a powerful thing because I, I'll tell you this, a lady, her name was, I'm not gonna say her name, a lady came to me, said, Nikki, I wanna make extra money. Showed her this business, good friend of mine, goes to my church, and I said to her, this is gonna suit you, you're powerful, you're posting on social media every day. All you need to do is have a link in your bio, you get paid, you got a child, you said you're strapped for cash, this will be perfect for you. Oh, I'll think about it, I don't know. Three months later, she got sacked from JD Sports. Pen, no, she was pending getting sacked. What do they call it? Disciplinary. So she calls me, I need you to give me a crash course now. <laughs> See the difference? Yeah. When our back's against the wall, yeah. we can set the goal. We can do what we need to do. But before, when it was in your own time, because your comfort zone is your growth zone. So the best way I can say this is when you're, com that's like my mum, the comfort zone, the benefits, the comfort zone, the broke zone. Mm. So when I decided to quit my 4,000 pound a month job, I put myself in a sink or swim situation because I knew if I stayed comfortable, I wouldn't move. Yeah, yeah. So when I'm comfortable, I don't, like the, the 4,000 a month is what they paid me Look, can you imagine? I was selling my 100 grand a month for 4K. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know. A lot of us, we're getting this money. We don't even know that 
it's sometimes you have to give up the little to get the but we're so comfortable so when you're in your comfort zone you're going to say this is all i can do i haven't got the time i haven't got the money yeah you do have the money we spend the money my weed's worth more than this business <laughs> 235 dollar we waste that on one lady spending four grand a year on kfc crazy we do have the money we'll make all the excuses in the world until our back's against the wall when her back was against the wall she told me she could borrow the money from her dad to get started <laughs> What was your dad three months ago when I told you? <laughs> but your back has to be, sometimes you've got to be desperate before you're going to take it on. And we can be skeptical till the cows come home. When I first started, the amount of skepticism, all my friends joined when I hit chairman. I'm like, you watch me hit that in 150. <laughs> that in 600. 1,000. Quit my job. 2,000. Travel around the world. Create, what's it? They say, your friends will celebrate you when strangers celebrate you. Your friends ain't gonna come and say, oh yeah, yeah, why? Because they know you. Yeah. You were crying to them last week saying you didn't have 20 pounds. So how can you now go to them and say, hey, we're gonna be millionaires? Yeah. Yeah. They don't listen. So when you're thinking your friends are gonna join you, I made more money with strangers than I did with my friends. But my friends can't change my mind. I have to have my mind made up that I want more for myself. When I quit my job, my whole family were like, they called out the prayer, what do they call it? The prayer bell, and they were like, oh Jesus, she lose our mind. She lose our mind that they were praying the Holy Spirit tongues. I'm being serious. The whole of my family gathered together in my grandma's house, and they were like, no, she's lost her mind. The big, big banking job, you know how they talk? Big, big banking job. She knew about a good, good job to me, what? A hunch of an air. Government job. Big banking job. Look how long she studied for that. They were there. You could have heard my aunties with them. <laughs> they could, they, they're mine, they're left-hand sided. So you have to see with left-hand side people. They'll be skeptical, is it real money? Real? What do you mean is it real? You can see me living this thing, of course it's real. Is it a scam, is the market gonna, listen, we make money whether the market goes up or down, there's no market bust. This is the only industry, it's not the stock market. It's not the only industry that's not gonna break because whether it goes up or down, we make money, it doesn't matter. We're always going to be exchanging currencies. It's not going to disappear. But the average person cannot understand this. And so when it comes to your question goals, you have to know what you want out of life. What do you want? You want to hit chairman? Yeah. You want to hit chairman? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So if I was mentoring you, I'd be saying this, Dan, you want to hit chairman? Yes. How many presentations are you doing every day? <laughs> he don't want to hit chairman. Yeah. You don't want to hit chairman. Because if you, when I came in, I was doing presentations every single day, three, four a day. Boom. Yeah. Because I wanted to quit my job. I gave myself a deadline, four weeks. I'm out of this place. Mm. I couldn't stand it. I was like, yo, I love, I love the money, but I don't like the people, the environment, the politics. Yeah. I'm the only one that looks like me so high up. I'm the only female. I'm the youngest. I was the minority of all minorities. Mm. <laughs> you know what you're going? The black girl. That's me. Yeah. Because they would just, they, they, if they, even if they didn't know my name, they'd be like, the black girl. Because I was the only black girl in the The female, I was the only female in that, the young one, I'm the youngest in Of yeah. every minority. I was tired of being labeled like that. So when I came in, it was like presenting. I, I didn't even trade yet. I saw this, three people, 12 people. All I took was what I understood. I know that I can pick up my phone. I've got 100 people in my phone book. I'm just going to keep calling. Because what I know is, if I call people, put them on an opportunity call, my mentor's gonna speak to them. They're either gonna say yes or no. It's law of averages. If I phone 100 people, and out of the 100 people, 50 people show up on the call, 25 join, 30 join, I'm a platinum 1,000, I quit my job. Done, that's all. Because I'm gonna use that 1,000, put it in my trading account, and flip it and make up my four grand. That was my mindset. Not everybody has that mindset. Mm -hmm. So you want to go chairman, but you're doing no calls. The law says you ain't going chairman. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not, a lot of people think that being successful is a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's the law. The law says if I call 100, 50 show up, 30 join. The law says if I present the plan, people are going to join. If I don't present the plan, they're not going to join. So now it's for you to say, this ain't rocket science. I need to start showing the plan. And now you say, well, when can I show the plan? I work all day, so let me show the plan at eight o'clock. Let me show the plan at nine o'clock. Let me show the plan at 10 o'clock. When I came, when
When I started, I was working, I called in sick. I was like, listen, right now I need to work on this business. Called in sick, called everyone around my house. I was like, come, 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 I've got something to show you. Come around my house, come around my house. I said, let me tell you this. He come to my house, I had a meeting at six o'clock. Come to my house, six o'clock. Let me tell you this, I got people coming at eight o'clock. You wanna get in now? Let me know, because at eight o'clock, before I look, eight o'clock come, the eight o'clock people were coming in. Boom, eight o'clock. Listen, I got some people coming at 10. Like, my house was like a doctor surgery, because <laughs> I knew what I wanted. But most people don't think like that. Most people wanna, oh, I wanna make money first before I tell anybody, I wanna do this. I'm... But you are not the teacher. The teacher is the academy. Why are you trying to make money first? You ain't gonna be teaching them. They're gonna be teaching them. The person that brought me in, I made more money than them before they did. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you when you say the goal, you wanna know what you're prepared. A lot of people they wanna they wanna say the goal, but they don't wanna do what it takes to get to the goal. You have to say to yourself honestly, do I really wanna go chairman? If I really wanna go chairman, then what am I doing on a daily basis that's gonna warrant me to get that? Because the law says by my you know by my works. By the sweat of my brow, I'm gonna eat bread. I'm gonna be known by the fruit, and the fruit only comes when you sow the seeds. So we have to get to a place where we're honest with ourselves, because I see a lot of people, I'm a church girl as well, guys, and I see them with the prayer hats, I see them on the floor, I see them with the miracles. God is gonna come and give us this. No, 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 God is giving you an opportunity. You've been praying for it, but you don't wanna pay for it. So you've been praying for it, but when it comes, you don't wanna pay for it, so now, when, when, when you keep saying God is coming, how come we have so many Christians that are at the altar praying for the last 40, 50, 60 years? Mm. What are you trying to say? God don't so talk? Dear, dear, dear. No, he's talking, but you're not listening. Mm. Because you're scared and you're living in fear. And I don't want to start preaching, guys, but we know that the Spirit of God don't move in fear. That's right. So when we say things like, oh, I don't have the money, I'm scared to get started. Blah, blah, blah. That's all demonic. That's Satan. That's devil talk. We can't be scared of being wealthy and we can't be scared of saying that I'm going to be a multi-billionaire. Millionaire status is easy now. Done. Billionaire status is where the big boys sit, but because we're in brainwashed left-hand side of money, we don't go there. So we now have to be honest about our goals. Are you happy staying in the place that you are at right now? Then just be happy and say, look, I'm happy where I am. But if you desire more, then you've got to be honest to yourself. You can't do the same and not expect the same. You've got to do different if you want different. So goals are so important. We work on your goals. But then when you set the goal, you've got to have an aligned action that's next to it. You set the goal, I want to go chairman. What's the blueprint for chairman? Opportunity calls. Inviting people on. Running events like this. Doing, you know, networking events. Social media. How many times are you posting? All those types of stuff. Is gonna attract people to you. I don't, I don't, I don't stalk people. People come to me now because now I have the lifestyle. So now they see me. Oh, Nikki, what are you doing? I'll come, I'll show you. But until then, you gotta put yourself out there. You gotta be visible. How many times are you posting on social media every day? About every three days. <laughs> <You're not watching. laughs> so I have a question. When you said about posting the link in your in, the, in your bio, yeah? yeah. So your social so media bio. So imagine like it's Facebook. Yeah. So in your bio, so in your description where it's got your name, yeah. underneath you'll have your link. And you put click the link in my bio. So the link in your bio is, is what is on the IM Academy. Yeah, from your IM so Academy. So you just take copy and paste that. That's right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um on the on the note of that, I noticed that there's two links. That one that actually Yes, you want the one that says enroller. The one that's got enroller in it, that's the link you want. Okay. Yeah. So, so the other one's not use, not useful? I wouldn't put that in your bio, no, because no. it just takes you one step back. So right. you just put the one that says enroller, and that will go straight there. So it will come my website, and this is the one here, enroller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you put this in your bio, customer clicks it, and then the page will come up for them to pick which package they want. So um, what about if they don't know any of the packages? Like, well, they're not going to click the link in, them, in your bio until they've seen what it is. No. So when I'm saying to people, click the link in my bio, these are people that have already watched the opportunity, they've already been a part of it, they've already seen it. Um, you know, I'm on social media all the time. So I don't just sh show them that here. I could be like, I'm in a restaurant with my kids and I'm like, just do a little quick 20 seconds. And I'm just like, hey guys, if you've been on, Lifestyle. <laughs> click the link in my bio. I turn into a click the link in my bio, girl. 
Bro, I'm like, I'm gonna get my bio. I'm watching the American, it's too much, right? 20 seconds of my life, paid me a thousand pounds. Just that one 20 seconds, thousand. Boom. 20 seconds. If I'm gonna get a thousand pounds in 20 seconds for doing, click the link in my bio, a little smile and a little lip gloss smile, why would I post every three days? I'm not gonna post every three days. I'm gonna post every day. I'm gonna post 20, if you look at my stories, 20, 30 times in a day. I'm posting because the posts are making me money. See what I'm saying? But you have to build to that. That's something that you build to yeah. by being consistent. If you keep showing up, eventually yeah. people are gonna come to you. So you just keep showing up, keep showing up. It takes time, but keep showing up. But if, you have, if, if you're getting, because you were saying that you're getting new people in, so when you get new people, people who don't know anything about the business and they just come and they just click on the link. No, no. So my story is opportunity call. So I'm like, if you want to know what I do, you want to get started, then DM me for the link. I can put you on the call. You can hear the information. And then after the information, if you have any questions, DM me or go ahead and click the link in my bio. Right. When I'm talking in the restaurant, I'm like, hey, you was on the opportunity call yesterday and you haven't clicked the link in my bio yet. Go ahead and click the link in my bio. Mm -hmm. Because I'm talking to the people that I put on the call yesterday. They're watching my story still. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah? So that's my follow-up, especially if I don't remember. Sometimes I'm putting 30 people on the call, I don't remember who they are. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Right? And they know you. And they know me, yeah. and they're watching my story. So that's how I vet who's serious. Because they're going to come back to me, and they're going to come and say, hey, Nikki, da -da -da, whatever. Sometimes people don't have the money. And what, let me give you a tip, guys. Especially if you want to get a mentor of a certain level, if you don't have the money, don't ever tell them you don't have the money. That's a, that's a code. What you say is, hey, I'm going to get started on the 5th. <laughs> <laughs> don't say I don't have the money. Just say, listen, on the 5th, I'm going to holler at you. That's what the boss wants to hear. That's what a boss wants to hear. Because in their mind, they probably think you ain't got the money. But they like the fact that you're like, listen, I'm going to hit you back. Yeah. Because if you say, like, I don't want to hear the negative. I want to hear the positive out of you. So you say I don't have the money, that's gonna open up another kind of worms because that's why you need this business. If you don't even have $200, you don't even have 180 pounds in your name, you've been working 30, 40, 50 years, you over 18 and you don't have 200, you, you in problems, serious problems. You need this. So we don't wanna go into I don't have the money. Just to listen, you see me on the fifth? I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna get started on the fifth. Because now you're tricking the ears of that person who's saying, oh, I like that person. They know what they want. They got a plan. See what I'm saying? So it's always about, like, there's clues in every conversation. One conversation can disqualify you from a complete something that could be a breakthrough. By saying one thing, it could disqualify you. By saying one thing, it could open up the works. It could open up the doors to massive success. And I learned this through the partnerships with you know, some of my mentors, how they speak, where they go, what they say. I learned some of this stuff is not even in the academy. This is just through networking and just speaking to people and learning how wealthy people behave. This stuff is not something that you're gonna, no one's gonna teach you this stuff. I don't see anybody teaching this stuff. This is not even people skills. This is wealth conversations. This is how to align yourself with wealthy people. Wealthy people hate excuses. Wealthy people hate people that procrastinate. Wealthy people like people that make decisions. It's not for you to say no. It is for you to say yes. You want to get started? Just say yes. You don't want to get started? Just say no. Be a person of your word and stand by your word and be who you say you are and do what you said you were going to do. That's how wealthy people are. They don't waste time because they understand that time is the most expensive commodity. That's why a lot of people <laughs> and <they're> like wasted. <laughs> yeah? yeah? So these are the things that no one's going to teach you, but you can have a conversation with someone and you're like, oh, that never went so well. You don't even understand why. But you probably said a trigger word. Yeah, that is like, Give you an example. My solicitor, she's sorting out some of my business. And she told me, I don't think this is going to happen. I, I've already decided. You ain't my solicitor no more. <laughs> <laughs> our relationship yeah. is over. Yeah. I don't yeah. roll with people that tell me I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Don't tell me I don't think it's gonna happen. How are we gonna make this happen? What needs to happen? Who do I need to call? Where do I need to drive to to make this thing happen? Don't tell me I don't think it's gonna happen. She doesn't even know yet. You ain't my solicitor no more. Yeah. I put in the chat, you saw me this morning. Any solicitors in the group? I've yeah, got a new one. Saw that, you yeah. saw me put that in the group. <laughs> I've got a new solicitor now. Yeah, yeah. I don't, 
negativity can't be around me. I don't do it because my mind is too precious. I have so many people that I'm serving. I cannot afford for my vibration to go down. So I'm very guarded about who the people that I hang around. And this is why we have to be very, very careful who we allow into our business, our houses, and our visions. What's your vision? What's your goal? It could scare your best friend. It could make your best friend start to envy you. Your best. Sometimes we even run snakes and we don't even know it. Yeah. Sometimes your best friend, what's it Bob Marley says, your best friend is your worst enemy. enemy. Because what they're doing behind your back, you don't even know. So sometimes you just got to be very vigilant, you got to stay prayed up, you got to be very connected to the source. Because the higher the level, a lot of people think, oh, when you got money, everything's fine. No, the more money you have, it's the more problems, the more headache, the more people you got to be like, rock. Is that how we're getting up? <laughs> Did she just say that? Like, I remember I had an issue with my son at school, right? When my baby father left me, my son was, you know, playing up in school and it was emotional for me. Money can't buy that type of m What can money do when in that situation? And I told my best friend, I was like, oh, my boy is playing up in school. I'm so stressed. She's like, oh, you're all right. You've got money. <laughs> I think she forgot that she was speaking out loud. <laughs> I couldn't believe it came out of mouth. Because that was jealousy right there. You know that, right? That was jealousy. Because I ain't told you how much money. In fact, I invited you in to come and make the money. Look, you told me it was a scam. You told me it was a fraud. You said it was a scam. No one's making money. Da -da -da. So. You, you got to know what you want. Five tips I'll give you really quickly. Number one, you've got to believe in yourself. Don't wait for other people to believe in you. Believe in yourself. Number two, you've got to make sure you set goals. Set big goals. Know the goals that you're going for. Know exactly what it is that you want out of life. Number three, then you've got to check the vehicle. Is the vehicle that you're in in alignment with the goal that you have? Is the thing that you say that you want in around your environment? Are you sitting at home watching Netflix and chill when you'll be working on your business? Is your job gonna get you the goal? Is the vehicle that you're in gonna get you to where you wanna be? It's no point saying when I win the lottery, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we've been there. Number four is obstacles. I'm never gonna tell you it's perfect. I've lost a lot of friends in this business because people start getting bad mind. They don't understand the elevation. Elevation requires separation. You can't carry your old self into a new position. There's certain things that you have to let go. You have to let go of bad habits. You've got to let go of insecurities you're going to find out who you are you're going to really work out you know the, the, the vision for your life obstacles are going to come your way you just have to learn to adapt overcome every obstacle that comes your way i don't look at anything negative everything is an opportunity of growth anything that comes my way the example of a solicitor was live it was today and i'm just like listen we can't work we need to keep it moving i don't do negativity nothing can destroy my energy nothing if I see it's attempting, I go into prayer straight away. Boom. I'm going to pray this out. The devil is a liar. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm the head and not the tail. There is nothing that can stop me. I'm a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. I'm a warrior. I am who I am. Come on, Nikki. You know you can do it. I give myself that talk. I do that because I don't want no energy around me to destroy. When you have a big mission, when you connect, because guess what? I connect with Gary and I've got my bad energy. Guess what I'm doing? I'm transferring that to him. Then he's transferring it to Dan, and all of a sudden we've damaged a whole nation and generation because of our bad energy. So I recognize the responsibility to have good energy, and so I keep that. I adapt and overcome. I, people think because you have money you don't have problems. It's a lie. I have issues just like everybody else. I have situations just like everybody else. But I learn to not act emotional, but I learn to act logical. What can I do about this? Is it in my control? Is it not in my control? Can I do something? Or can I, oh, do I have to let it go? Let go and let God kind of thing? Or is it something I can do? Obstacles always happen. Last thing, number five, gratitude. Express gratitude every day. Every day I wake up, every day throughout the day, I express gratitude. When you express gratitude, you get more facts. You express, how many of us have been disappointed in anything before? The way I handle disappointment is gratitude. Thank God I'm alive. How many people died during COVID? I'm here. I'm alive. Thank God I've got clothes. I've got food. I've got children. How many people are trying to have babies? They can't even have babies. Thank God for the breath in my lungs. I know a friend that lost her voice. Thank God I'm here able to. I start to really like.
be grateful for what I do have, and how dare I complain? <laughs> you know, I remember one time, you know, I was buying a house, and the house, but we couldn't get the house, someone outbid me, and I was in a bad mood all day. I don't like losing. And I said to my husband, you know, this is not on. Why? Why? You know, why? We, we, we did everything. Why? My husband's like, what coupon you? He's Jamaican. <laughs> Miss earning how much money, your children head to your house looking good. You have a, now I have a cleaner, I have an iron lady. And my husband says, and you're complaining about what? That you didn't get the house that you want. You're so like one of them real rich people. I was like, oh my God, I repent, Lord, sorry. <laughs> Shut away, boom. Why? Because for that hot second, I really forgot all the blessings that I had. Mm. My children are healthy, they're well, they're alive. And how do we overcome the, the now problem is to express gratitude of what we have. So I live by those five things every single day. I try my best. As long as I go to my bed knowing I've tried my best, that's all that matters. Do you have a question? Ooh, ooh. Okay, cool. So, ooh. any final questions? And then we are wrapped up. Um, I'm trying to, I have a question, but I'm trying to think. Um, so, you, you know you said about the, the accounting thing? So, um, I'm now worried <laughs> that my accountant won't be able to, because I've only just started. Don't worry about something that you ain't done. No, yet. no, I mean, not worried, mm -hmm. but um, how... Are you building a business? Are you a platinum 150? No, I'm not a platinum one. Okay, yet. have you transferred over five to eight grand out of your trading no. account? You know, to work. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, cool. So, here's what I'm going to do for those of you. Anyone who's ready to get started, just let me know. Are you ready to get started? Are you somebody that's like, you know what, I want to get started, but. Sorry. Is that again? What did you say? Oh, sorry. Um, ready to get started, ready to, you know, move, ready to get in alignment. We have an event on the 26th, which is Saturday this week coming with Ballet Granville, one of the educators on there. I'm also gonna be doing loads of giveaways. We've got recognition. These gentlemen will be receiving their certificates and awards. The highest earners in the region will be there. We're gonna be doing training on different, um, different strategies on a platform as well. Um, and the event sold out in 90 seconds. Was it 90 seconds, Gary? Yeah. 90 seconds. I struggled to get my house. Yeah. 90, I put the tickets out, 90 seconds, 400 tickets sold out. And then I put on a couple hundred more, they sold out, literally. So this is going to be the event of the year. Um, I think we've got about 1,200 people that are going to be at this event. And to say it's going to change lives, events is what changed my life. That's where I met my mentor, that's where I heard this information. Um, and I definitely recommend that you try to get to that event. There are a few tickets floating about within the team. I know some people still have some left, so you may be able to access it. If you can get to that event on Saturday, I would advise you to do that. 11 a.m., it will be till 5 p.m. on Saturday, and the highest earners in the region will be there and getting awarded. So that's something that I definitely would recommend you do. Uh, we've got people literally called in sick already, took holiday off work. We have the Birmingham crew, they've got a bus. It's about 40 of them coming down. We've got people all over the country coming down to this event. Um, and it's going to be absolutely insane. So I definitely recommend you do that. For those of you that are ready to get started, all you need to do is hit up Dan, I think, with the link. And he will obviously give you guys the link to get yourself in. Uh, those of you that get started today, what I always do on the road is I give a $50 um, cash back. So $50 cash back just means that after you've been in for the full 10 days, because uh, we give you a seven day money back guarantee, after you've been in for 10 days, then you can claim that $50 that can go into your trading account, it can go wherever you want it to go to, and um, you, know, you can start trading from there. So that's something that I always do for those people that get started today. That $50 will be there, and then Gary will send me over the details, and then that will be claimed in 14 days from now. Um, but that's it, really. I hope to see you guys very soon. Thank you for having me. It's always a blessing. I do want us to do, if we can do a little, um, you know, I've got my social media. If we can do a little... If everyone can just gather all together. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Wow. I will give Let's a compliment. Go. Anyone that's not in the academy now, I personally will ensure 